Notice that in, in the story of Noah, where Noah uh, built the ark and he, there were eight people that went on the ark, Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives and all the animals, uh, clean and unclean animals, uh, they, so that means that we have a common descendant, Noah, who's genetically, who's genetically fit, his genes were not uh, goofed up with all the uh, hybridization and genetic modification that was happening back in that day, in those days. Um, so what we have here is uh, an extinction event. And this an extinction event, what? Well, first of all, all those creatures that were genetically modified before the flood by the uh, fallen angels, if that theory is correct, all those weird hybrids were destroyed. Maybe that's what part of the dinosaurs were. I read somewhere that Dinosaurs are actually huge, lightweight birds. <laughs> they don't look like birds to me, but we've got uh, dinosaur balloons right over here in the School of Mines and Technology Museum. But um, what we have here also is that the line of Cain, the line of Cain, of course, we look in the Genesis, only seven generations of Cain are depicted there. Or written down, or denoted, or historically mentioned. So, uh, so what we have there is um, the line of Cain. None of them were on the. It's hailing out. If you wonder what that noise is, um, None of the sons of Cain made it onto the ark. That means that the lineage of Cain is not in our uh, common ancestry. That means that nobody walking around today is part of the lineage of Cain. Is that correct? That's what I. That's how I read it. Do any of you out there who know Hebrew and are maybe an Orthodox Jew and have learned this since your childhood and have studied the Talmud and everything. Is that the way that you understand it? I want to know.